the difference between sewing a regular shirt and a kimono is not far-fetched so this i'm going to use this pattern to cut out the neck to show you how to cut out the neck on a typical shirt this is the back and front so the neck now i'm going to take three inches anyone um, above size eight will take three and a half inches for whiteness okay so three inches for the whiteness here okay and um three and a half inches best is above uh, is bigger than size eight so maybe so in size 10 12 14 you take three and a half inches so for deepness you're taking one inch for four and a half one and a half inch for the front and one inch for the back so i'm going to mark one and a half inch for the front i'm just going to create a dot there okay and then this back is going to use one inch so i'm just going to create all the the measurements at the front and then cut it out so i'm going to start with the back measurement and then just draw a line okay and then connect um connect it with a curve a round curve there and then cut the measurement on both of them that is for the back but i'm cutting it on the on both of them okay once i'm done cutting it i'm going to take out the back which is the one inside i want to use this one inside as the back so i'm going to take it aside and then take the measurement for the front which is going to be i extend this line here and then rule it at that one and a half inch that i created okay and then create a curve to start from here and end here so it's going to just meet each other there so i'm just creating this curve this is it and then i'm going to go ahead and now cut out this neck pattern for the front so this is what it looks like okay this is the front and then this is the back okay so i'm going to cut out this middle part of the front the way i taught you in the kimono just cut the middle part out okay into two like this okay and then you just normal way now you just place it and connect the neck and um, the shoulder together so i'm going to have sewn it and connect the shoulder so this is the measurement you take here for them to attach the collar this neck measurement the entire neck measurement like this with tape that's how you will connect it okay that's how you connect it so you take the measurement okay this is the measurement you take for your neck so this is the outfit you are going to be sewing the collar on okay so this is the neck area and i'm going to take a tape around it to take the measurement so for this particular one all right i the neck measurement came out eventually came out at 19 inches i added one inch and that was 20 inches for extra allowance so i'm going to take two inches for the top collar and two inches for the down collar so i'm going to start with the down collar and mark it at two inches okay i'm just going to create a dot there put a dot there for the down collar and that two inches for the top collar okay then i'm going to divide my whiteness into two that's 20 divided by two that's 10 inches and that will create that will i'm just going to create a dot at 10 inches and then rule a line to meet it at that 10 inches on both of them that's to the wideness of the neck okay we divide it by two so i'm just going to rule that line there on both of them and then after reading the line the next thing i want to do is to create a curve downwards on the down part of the collar just create a small round curve that comes downwards okay and then for the top i'm going to come back by four inches and try to create an arrow that goes up that sharp arrow at the edge of a collar i'm going to create it to go up okay just create to go up after it goes up i'm going to come down towards the part where the curve wanted the curve at the down wanting to start okay that uh, just downwards like this all right and then i'm going to extend it on this other side to just follow the line through okay so the next thing i want to do is to cut out the pattern okay for both the top of the collar and the down part of the collar so this side i'm cutting out is the top part out and the ones i cut out the top i set it aside and go ahead and cut out the excess on the down collar out so this is your pattern all right this is your pattern here for your collar so i'm going to use this pattern and paste it and place it on my fabric fold the fabric into two place it and then use pins to secure it 
so that the part the fabric doesn't shift and then cut it out it's that simple so i'm just going to place pins on it and then cut it out so i'm going to now cut this out okay so i cut it out into so each of them has two parts the top part is two and the down part is two okay so i'm going to move the pins okay and the pins on the pattern paper and set the pattern paper aside and then open the fabric up so i've op this is me opening it up this is what your color top and down part will look like okay then this is what it uh, will look like this. so this one here is to sew on top of it like this all right to sew it like this i sew it together you sew one facing the other side interfacing the other side just like this all right so this is how it's going to be sewn so you're going to interface this all right the top part of it on it i'm going to show you how you interface it but before we interface it i'm going to use gum stay to iron the top part of the collar just one side and then i'm going to cu cut it the gum stay is to make the collar slightly harder and, sh and sharper so i'm going to pin the part i want to interface on the cloth so this is the side i'm interfacing here so i just pinned it down before sewing it so after pinning it i've sewn it now this is what it looks like okay so interfacing you can see i'm just going to fold it down like this and then iron it out all right just fold it down iron it out like this let me bring it closer for you to see so i sewed it like this you can use hand to sew it just let me ask you sewing me hand you sew it twice so i sewed it like this and then i they are going to now fold it in like this and iron it okay to make the color to be sharper so i've done, gone ahead to interface um iron it out okay so this is what it looks like after ironing it okay now and then i on i interface this one as well and ironed it as well so next i want to interface this side here the side of the top part of the collar all right interface this top side of the the side of the top part of the collar once you're done doing that you will have to open up the down part of the collar okay open it up like this all right and then place this one inside it like this all right and then you make sure it's inside very well so that you can now sew this edge here just a little bit to hold it together all right so that to hold it together and tuck it in okay so once you are done sewing it i'm done sewing it this is me so i sewed it here to the very end here i took that's like tucking it in and then open it out like this and then you can see that both the down part and the top part are joined together all right so the next thing you want to do is to bend it down like this the part that the color normally bends and iron it okay so that's what we are going to do right now i don't went ahead and ironed mine and you can see it's bent and it's sharp enough for me to sew my fabric so i was going to bring my fabric on the neck area and then just sew you know to the neck the way i showed you when i was taking the tape measurement so this is the final result okay so i sewed this is the area i joined to the neck here this area that i'm taking up here this is where i joined it here and this side of course joined it round it and then you can see what it now looks like this is the whiter side of the fabric you should use the same fabric for everything no need to find an ex um diff a different color of fabric like maybe white i just chose to do that for this one thank you